This is a rainbow trout, battler, high jump artist, prize of anglers, aristocrat of the fishing world. In the clear Pine River pouring out of southern Colorado's mountains, many handsome rainbows lurk. They're tough to catch, challenge expert anglers. But congenial Mickey Craig, who operates a dude ranch on the Pine near Bayfield, Colorado, knows how to catch them. So does Mickey's friend, Byron Dalrymple. Byron, nationally known outdoor writer, has fished for trout in many places across the nation. Through lovely scenery, they drive to the lodge, but not to stay. Oh no, they're going on a camping trip. It's going to be a family affair. Mickey, his wife Mary Ann, and their children, Kathy and Eric, are going to experience a truly different kind of vacation, right here in their own home mountains. Byron wants to show the Craigs what fun this variety of vacationing can be. And Mickey, in turn, will introduce Byron to the sensational fishing found on the pine. What a lovely spot right here for a camping site. All hands out now. This is an exciting time. The youngsters have to look at the river. Forests, stream, away from it all, what enjoyment is here. There's work to be done, though not very much with this kind of camp. Light as a feather, it handles like a breeze. It's fun to set up this camp. Just open the top and fold it back. Not much like old-fashioned tents, this compact little mobile job. Down comes the canvas. Even the kids could set up camp alone. In mere seconds, all the comforts of home. Mickey sets up a rod. That river's mighty inviting. Kathy's the eager one. She wants to be the first to try. Fly casting's difficult. It takes concentration for a youngster. Gently now, lay the fly down lightly. Dad studies the stream. Are any trout feeding? There's one. And a big one. Mickey's excited now. So is Byron. It's time to get tackle set up. Mickey winds on a special fly line that sinks deep down. He's casting a wet or sinking fly. The line sinks it where big trout lurk. Uh-oh. Who's this? A big-eared mule deer. For a family, nature offers all sorts of surprises here in the wilderness. But where's that trout? There, he's into a good one. Or he was. There's many a slip. Little Eric's not concerned with fish. Off with the boots. Rivers, he thinks, were made for little boys to wade in. Wow, that water's cold. Mary Ann relaxes too, bird watching. There are many colorful, even rare species here. This camping's family fun. Byron hasn't started fishing yet. He will try a different method. Use a floating line, a dry or floating fly. Dry flies must be fished upstream. Line, leader, and fly float back toward the angler. It's an art. Byron must select exactly the proper fly. This yellow one may fool them. Experience counts here. He ties it on the gossamer leader just so. At last, Byron starts casting. But wait here, even the experts have problems. Who put that pesky spruce bough there? Careful, don't muss that fluffy fly or kink that wispy leader. Fly looks fine. He's back in business again. That white line, lighter than water, is easy to see on the surface. Byron casts expertly and accurately. A good fly fisherman reads the water, knows the spots where big trout should lie. The yellow fly rides high, dancing down the ripple. One takes it. Byron's busy now. It's a big trout, and that water's fast. 
The light rod really dances. It's tough to land a trout like this on such fairy wand tackle, but it's sporty. Look at that lunker fight, a stubborn brute. Byron tries for the net, but this trout's not ready yet. That's better. Team him down, hold him snug while you reach for the net, and into it he goes. A beautiful rainbow, the kind every angler dreams of. Mickey's been catching smaller ones meanwhile. But look at this, he's into a whopper. Look at that leap. A real battler, this one. Must be as big as Byron's at least. They both had the right medicine. Follow him. Watch those slippery rocks. Almost a tumble. That's better. He's tiring now. But rainbows in swift, cold mountain water just never give up. Big trout have real staying power. It takes experience to know exactly how much that light leader will stand. Mickey's leading his fish carefully, bringing it slowly in. The river current, too, is tough. Down with the net. Easy. And wow, what a trout this is. What a day of action. One after another, they're fighting good trout. It's a fishing session to prove what a great stream the pine is. And some meal these trout will make at camp. After such a day, this one should end it. Look at that great rainbow. And Mickey's lifting it by hand. Easy. There. What a prize. What a day of camping for the family. The happy fish-weary anglers come back to the bright, cozy camp with their trophies. Mary Ann and the children can hardly believe their luck. Ah, the aroma of sizzling trout. Cooking isn't really work on an occasion like this. Kathy's smile says it all. Mm -mm. The climax to a perfect camping day. Land of enchantment indeed. New Mexico, land of many faces, moods, and ever-changing vistas. Brooding mountains tower and beckon on the long horizons. Stunning red sandstone formations flood the landscape with color. There are ancient Indian pueblos from out of history. And cold, high country waters, streams tumbling merrily. Trout waters, these. Loaded with action for anglers. These campers have traveled far, seeking mountain trout. Their handsome pickup coach loaded with every convenience, they'll be able to spend every moment fishing. This father has long dreamed of taking his young son west for trout. He's an expert Michigan angler. Leon Martouche, renowned flycaster. This water looks good for dry or floating flies, he explains. Twelve-year-old Mike listens. He's a beginner. These strange waters aren't like home. There's excitement in puzzling which fly the trout may hit as it floats on surface. If luck's bad with dry flies, then they'll try wet or sinking flies. These are heavier, go down deep when trout are feeding on the bottom. The true expert, Dad says, doesn't stop there. He uses a line to match the type of fly, a floating line for floating flies a sinking line for sinking flies. Here's the floater. It rides high on the water. This one sinks, takes the fly down fast and deep. Enough instruction. With dry flies and floating lines, they cast upstream. The fly floats back, like an insect. Strike! Leon's busy now, stripping in loose lines. This is what they came for. Action. These rainbows are sensational battlers. And high jumpers, too. Look at him go. Leon handles that rod beautifully. His expertness pays off. Still battling, the trout is tiring. Yet it's far from through. 
this wild flurry makes the long trip worthwhile, and that trout, Leon knows, is not landed yet. But it's closer now, a little luck, a lot of expert management, and into the net it goes. What a beauty. What a pink-sided mountain rainbow. The first New Mexico battler to go into the creel. Mike's all the more eager now, casting smoothly. Ah, this one's interested. Will it take his fly? He's got a hit. It's on! A real buster of a trout. A rainbow as good as Dad's. It's tough for a 12-year-old, but the thrill of the fight puts strength in a lad. The brute's going around downstream. Now keep that line tight. He's giving a bit now. Remember what Dad said. Hold snug. Wear him down. Don't let him rest. Keep that pressure on. But not too much. Don't snap the leader. He's on his way. Just a little more. It's tough stuff for a youngster. Fast water, bent rod, big drop. Got him. Who's the proudest, Dad or Mike? You did fine, Leon congratulates. He's big. Next morning, there's high anticipation. With backpacks, they leave the comfortable camp. High above their stream campsite in roadless wilderness, their map shows alpine lakes. So up they go, puffing away, and sure enough, almost at the top of the mountain, they come upon a jewel of a lake. Off come the packs. There's bound to be action. Here they'll use sinking lines and flies. In these frigid waters, trout lie deep. Mike's eager. The hard climb is forgotten. Ha! Huh, what's this? Mike has got his first one. High country trout aren't always large, but they're beautifully colored. Leon cleans Mike's trout to learn what it's been eating. Matching the food in the trout's gullet with a fly from his box, he casts out into the icy blue waters. It's a trick of experts. There it is, a strike, fish coming in. These spotted beauties are cutthroat trout, named for the red slashes of color below the gills. Swiftly the day has passed. Not big trout, but full of fight. Wonderful for the camp. Down the mountain they go, tired but happy. The comforts of that camp coach are mighty inviting. How can a fisherman quit? Tired? <laughs> One last fling before the sun goes down. They're hitting two big ones. Those wet flies and sinking lines work. Mike's hung the biggest trout of his life. Wild drama's on. Leon's also into one. Big. He doesn't dare hold. He's got to follow. This one's the prize. Bravo for young Mike. Like a veteran, he fought it. And now he works it toward the bank. Meanwhile, his dad gets the net ready. His big rainbow protests stubbornly. Careful now. Mike's got his at last. Yesterday's big one seems small. Dad's still in trouble, though. That bruiser just won't give up. Fish this size take real skill with a wispy fly rod. Now, down with the net. Snare the big fellow. Ah, what a monster of a rainbow. The day ends. Father and son with their prizes. A thrilling day to dream of tonight in that cozy camp coach. A trip long to remember.